I want to introduce Alan Brown, who I met through Dean Kamen. Alan, if you would come up and join us. Thank you. Um, I am not a veteran. I am a quadriplegic who broke his neck 21 years ago in the wrong place at the wrong time. I was in the ocean when I broke my neck. And until six years ago, five years ago, my life, I actually felt paralyzed. And then the iBot came out. And I felt like I was not paralyzed anymore. I was able to do things. I have an 11-year-old son and a six-year-old son. And when you're in a wheelchair and you have to be a father and a parent, you don't want to be the guy in the wheelchair. You want to be the cool dad in the wheelchair, the one who will go out and do things that can be there on the lacrosse field, be there on the soccer field, play basketball with my son, run a full-time business. You know, I didn't ask for this. This is nothing that I asked for. But I've been in this chair for now five, five years, six years. And I've been working with Johnson & Johnson. When I got this wheelchair, it was $33,000 sticker price. And the insurance company back then paid 85%, which was great, affordable. And people were getting them. And then as I was working, going on and on and on, I saw the writing on the wall with where Medicare and Medicaid was going with reimbursement. And I said, I better get myself another one of these things because I saw that Johnson & Johnson was going to have to stop manufacturing these things because the business model did not make sense. So I went out and went through the process of trying to get a new chair, and the insurance company called up me up and said, we'd like to be, let you know that we're so proud that we're going to help you get a new iBot wheelchair. And I was ready to get up and dance and go crazy. And they said, but we're only going to pay $2,000 of now a $22,000 wheelchair. And exactly like Gary was just talking about with what he gets to do with his family, I get to do with my family. And the fact that these chairs are no longer being manufactured is a shame, and it needs to change. And Obama, when he, when he talked about technology and science and medicine being all put together, that's what the iBot is, is about. It's about us being able to live. There's no reason that I should be looked at differently. There's no reason that I should be discriminated about where I go and what I do. I should be able to live. And when I got that phone call from the people that I worked with at J&J &J, that they were no longer going to be made, my first phone call was to Dean Kamen. And I said, Dean, I'm a New York City boy, and get out of my way because I'm making sure that these chairs are going to be made again. So what are we going to do? And we started to talk about it and figure out what we're going to do, and we are going to get these chairs made again, and we're going to change, and we're going to make a difference. But it's not fair that a chair like this, which climbs stairs, I go to the beach, gravel, rough terrain, everything along those lines, exactly what our president spoke about. You're already taking the technology, and it's already been put on the shelf. It's not available anymore. When I went over to Walter Reed this morning and saw what was going on over there, I am so proud to be an American and to see what these guys do for us. And when they come back and they're not able to have a chair like what I have or what Gary has, that's a shame. And we cannot let that happen to the people that put... Our li their lives on the line for our freedom. So I really hope that everybody joins our cause, listens to what we're talking about. These chairs are less expensive than the other chairs on the market and gives us more and more life. Quality of life is what it's all about. I'm in pain 24 hours, seven days a week, but I live. And this chair is my life. If I never, if my iBot goes away, I don't want to live anymore because I don't want to be paralyzed again. I've been paralyzed already for 21 years. I've had five years of freedom. I want my freedom to continue. And it's going to be change within Congress and the Senate and everything you know, within our government that's going to allow that to happen. So please join our cause and make sure that these veterans that are coming home that are giving us our freedom are able to live the lives that they're able to as best as they can with whatever they have. And to Dean, thank you for making me me again and allowing me to um, live my life the way that I'm supposed to. Not with everybody looking down on me all the time, but me looking eye to eye and face to face. So thank you for being the wonderful guy that you are and I don't know how to really thank you enough. Thank you.